you wholesale a deal if you don't have it under contract yet. If you want to technically wholesale property, you have to have a contract on it so you can assign it. But what I do is before making that offer and getting under contract for a price I don't know if I can do or not, most of the time when deals are really kind of tight, I'll just go to my buyer and I'll say, hey, there's a motivated seller. They want 180. What can you pay for it? And if they're like, oh, I can do 200,000, I can do 190. Then I go back to the seller and I say, yes, I can do 180. I can do 175, whatever I have to say uh, to negotiate with them. And then I, I keep my fee in there. So let's Let's look at this example. Seller wants 180, my buyer will pay 200,000. That's a $20,000 fee. So if he'll pay 200,000, I go back to the seller and say, yes, let's do 180. I assign it to him for 200,000. I just made 20K, all without having this house under contract. Now, a lot of you might also be asking, well, hey, Nate, aren't you scared your buyer is gonna cut you out? No, I'm not scared. I only do this with buyers that I trust. I'm not gonna do it with someone that I just met because I don't know who they are and if they would backdoor me.